Okay, you okay? Yeah. Just got a little back into my snapbacks there. Okay. Good morning, Facebook. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Serial Creators. I'm Hank. I'm Nisha. And we're here to cover all the creative content that we've seen across social media. Uh, Nisha, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about some snapbacks. Uh, if you don't know what a snapback is, basically it's when someone says something and then someone snaps back with something else. It's a punch at your back. And that happens a lot on social media these days and it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. Sweet. And fun to partake in. So let's get into it. So today we got Rice Krispies because Snap Crackle Pop. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> oh snap. Oh snap. You see what we did there? See what we did there. Oh, we gotta run the credits. We gotta run the opening. The credits. Let's run the credits. <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about some famous, famous, I mean infamous tweets that really come from people's, for people's necks, from brands, uh, small and large. I think now the, our biggest, <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> our biggest favorite is Wendy's. Oh man, if you don't follow Wendy's on Twitter, Please you need follow to follow me. Wendy's on Twitter. Uh, not sponsored by Wendy's, but... Wendy's, if you want to sponsor me in life, that's fine. I mean, we're I'm, not stopping you to do it. I'm down for free nugs for life. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Wendy's is hilarious on social media. They're really good. Thank you. They're really good at joining conversations and starting conversations. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they know what they're doing for sure. Right. And they're infamous. And it's, and it's pretty neat because, you know, with their branding, you know, they have Wendy, who's oh. their... Do you hear it? Can you guys hear it? Do you hear it? <laughs> Sorry. I haven't had Rice Krispies since I was like, I don't know, six years old. Wow. That's a long time. Oh. I think the last time I had Rice Krispies was like a few hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but Wendy's um, has done, I mean, genius, has made genius moves on Twitter, uh, specifically with their brand, because they have Wendy, who is their, their um, logo, their icon. Mm-hmm. And uh, they basically personify her to be this teenager who, I mean, who just claps back at everyone. I mean, it's the re the responses are <laughs> they're great. They're great. What are, what are some of the favorite ones have you seen? Um, sometimes they'll tweet back at like people that talk about McDonald's. Oh, like someone man. will be like, "Man, should I go to McDonald's or Wendy's?" And Wendy's is like, "This is a very clear decision." Or just like they'll just be so funny. And, and yeah, they'll talk about how like their beef is never frozen, mm. and just like hold on, I'm gonna find some. But they're hilarious. And they're great, and they go, I mean, they go straight for your neck. They do. I mean, their their responses are so relevant, and they have like this. I mean, really, just like a teenager, like nowadays, like going. I mean, just going directly for that mm -hmm. for that kill. Let's see. Wendy's just roasting people on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so like, Mika tweeted, Wendy's, can you find me the nearest McDonald's? And Wendy's just tweeted them a picture of a trash can. Oh my gosh. Savage. <laughs> God, just these... straight, that's hilarious. I mean, even if I have a bad experience or, you know, not a great experience for a restaurant, it's, I, I couldn't tweet a trash can for somebody. I just couldn't do it. That's it's, so funny. <laughs> I don't have the nerve for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, okay. So it's funny when this happens, when like other brands start tweeting at each mm -hmm. other, you know, when it's not just like a brand and its followers. Mm -hmm. So Wendy's tweeted the four for four meal, a tray full of mouth filling glory. And then Burger King tweeted at them and they said five for four because five is better than four. And so then a follower, Brittany, came in and said, Wendy's, what are you going to say back? What are you going to fire back? And Wendy said edible food. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> It just comes straight for the throat. That's hilarious. And what's so great about it is they're, they're using Twitter because Twitter is just so easy to... It's so quick. Yeah, it's so quick that you can get, like, communicate certain things 
out and not necessarily have to worry about like a feed or mm -hmm. I mean people do pay attention to timelines but it's very rare that a lot of people just like go to your like page and what's happening right now exactly yeah. it's very in the moment and um it's a great platform to you know to talk about things on, I just cannot talk today no. <laughs> it's a great platform to talk about things that are going on now and in real time like just instead of posting a picture or not always posting a picture but just having the thought that you can just tweet out like in seconds mm -hmm. and be in the conversation. And that's what these brands are doing that really puts them, you know, in the conversation of today. Yeah. Did you know that uh, Wendy's actually came out with a mixtape? You kidding? It's a mixtape. Wendy's came out with their own music. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna pull up their tweet about it. Um, here it is. Okay, it says, Wendy said, the mixtape drops now, not pulling punches. We beefing. That's oh, what it's no. called. That's what it's called. Wait, I'm going to pull it up. That is genius. I'm going to pull it up and we're going to listen to it. Okay. And for those who don't know, <laughs> Wendy's is very, very, uh, they go very hard on their beef. They're really about their That's, beef yeah. not being frozen. And Always being fresh. fresh. Wow. And I think it's genius that their mixtape is called We Beefing, we beefing. which is just like having a feud or just being at odds with somebody. And I don't Except we're, we're not pulling about. punches. Like they're so um, straightforward about exactly how they <laughs> approach things. It's funny. <laughs> so this came out March 23rd. So just like a couple days ago. And if you guys have Spotify, go check it out. Yeah, it's on Spotify. It's got, I mean, monthly listeners, 600 plus, wow. 600,000 plus. So like, I'm going to download it now. This song is called Twitter Figures. Are you ready for this? I'm not <laughs> yes. ready, Bob. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we need a thing you can send to sauce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, I they love have it. a song called 4 for 4. They have a song called 4 for 4. Can we yeah. please listen yeah. to that? And it's crazy, they took this hip hop route. Cause I mean, hip hop has so much of an influence today, especially on social media. And it's just crazy. That, that might be <laughs> top Billboard, Billboard mixtape or album uh, for the year 2018. We never know. We, we never know, we never know. But with that many views a month, I mean, mm -hmm. why not? Why it's not? literally been on six days. Six days? That's it. Oh gosh. <laughs> now, what's funny is, and when is not the only one, a lot of brands have um, kind of hopped on this train of becoming more sassy on Twitter. I guess Twitter is just a boxing ring. That's really all it is. Like if you, it's an arena. Right. If you just have feud or beef with someone, or you just good at clapback, sign up for Twitter. Like, Twitter <laughs> account. It just, just or if you just want to like watch other people. Oh, it is yeah, hilarious. Just all day. Make yeah. sure you don't have anything to do because, I mean, you say five minutes, I'm just going to scroll on Twitter, then the next thing you know, it's... it's I feel like better. this happens to you a lot. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, wait, did you have some other examples? Is that oh, Berkeley yeah. Came? So, Berkeley had this, <laughs> Berkeley had this funny uh, clap back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Berkeley tweeted, sees clown, nope, and goes to BK. <laughs> and Brian Johnson replied, uh, clowns are evil and kings are cool. And then they uh, did the emoji of the crown with the greater than sign, no, of a crown with the greater than sign of a clown. Oh. Savage. Savage. I mean, everybody's just coming at McDonald's. <laughs> Poor McDonald's. <laughs> I love McDonald's, man. Dairy Queen actually really has some good uh, clapbacks also. So, at TSS Kid tweeted, which fries are better, Chick-fil-A or Dairy Queen? And Dairy Queen responded with the thinking emoji. It says, is it really up for debate? No. Uh, Chick-fil-A. I never had, I never had Dairy, Dairy Queen. Fries. Actually, honestly, I haven't either. I only go to Dairy Queen for ice cream. We're going to Dairy Queen for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ricardo 
commented and said, serial and trap music, LOL. Yes. Agreed <laughs> to that statement. Just, <laughs> I love it. Serial and trap music. You made it. I think, it, I think what's so funny is that Wendy's obviously spent all this time <clears throat> doing something that has nothing to do with what they do. Like, they, right. they took all this time to <laughs> but make their way into the music industry. You know right. what I mean? Like, they're making music, which has nothing to do with making burgers, but, like... It's such a good marketing tactic. It's just like finding what people are going to engage with and what right. they're going to talk about and what right. they're going to share. And they, they invested clearly. Like they invested time, effort, money into that. And right. it was so um, successful for that reason. Right. And traditional advertising is, is kind of fading away in a in sense because uh, things are so fast and people's attention spans are not that long like they, like they used to be. And so, like, once the trend is out, I think, you know, Twitter, again, Twitter is a great platform just to get on that train to talk about what's going on or put out, you know, <clears throat> well, with platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, is you're able to get out music in front of fans and more people than you were by, you know, doing concerts or... I mean, 600,000 people in six days. That, that is, is not insane. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. But, I mean, it works. Like, that's, and it, like you said, it's nothing to do with... Like, hey, come get some fresh hot fries or uh, come to your nearest Wendy's. But it's just like, I mean, when you see a Wendy's mixtape, I don't see no one. I mean, if I'm hungry and I hear a mixtape by Wendy's, I might give me a four for four. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Junior bacon, double plain. <laughs> Large fry. Large fry. Extra sweet tea. chicken vanilla, sweet tea. Light ice. Why do I know you're Wendy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm predicting. <laughs> Oh, man. Another funny tweet uh, was between IHOP and Denny's. IHOP and Denny's. Two great breakfast places. Yum. IHOP tweeted, we are the pancake OG and will be respected as such. So, for those who don't know, OG stands for original gangster, which really means, like, just having a lot of respect. And Denny's responded, wait, what's OG mean? And IHOP responded back, Spoken like second place. Savage. <laughs> that, wow. That hurt my heart. Oh, hurt someone, my heart. someone told me I was in second place. Did you hear about the pancake who was stressed out? He totally flipped. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Raheem. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good oh, joke. Man. That was bad awesome. jokes. That was awesome. well, Never. Oh my god. Never die. Is that moon pie? It's moon pie. Moon pie. Okay, first of all, I love the moon. Second of all, <laughs> I love moon pie. Shout out to the moon. Shout out to the moon. <laughs> um, but moon pie, moon pies themselves are okay. <laughs> but moon pie on social Shots media. Shots fired. <laughs> moon pie, you okay? I didn't say that this was your dick, so just in case you want to sponsor us. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about my mouth. I'm so if you want... If you want to sponsor us? <laughs> I didn't say that. Nisha said that. <laughs> Moon Pie is hilarious on social media. I think what's really funny about them is like, <clears throat> less like Wendy's, mm -hmm. they're still savage, but they'll do it more subtly, mm -hmm. or they'll just be like kind of chill about it. And sometimes they'll actually be really nice. Like yeah. they'll just tweet super, super nice things at people. And then other times they're just kind of like subtle savagery. It's great. So yeah, that tweet, <laughs> hold on, I have it. I won't pull it up. Yeah, so Hostess Snacks tweeted this picture of a Hostess Snacks in front of the, in front of the sun, like the day before the eclipse or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they said, Hostess has declared Golden Cupcakes the official snack cake of the eclipse. <laughs> and <laughs> Moon Pie was like, lol, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, Does obviously, it? they're they're actually a Moon Pie, so <laughs> you can't you can't beat Moon Pie. I mean, Sorry. Yeah, just, you know, oh, okay. <clears throat> Okay. At, actually, I've seen Moon Pie and Wendy's tweet at each other. Really? Yeah, and they're just like they. A lot of like articles will be like Moon Pie and Wendy's flirting on Twitter because they're just like both <laughs> super nice to each other. Sweet. And I saw Wendy's take Moon Pies and make burgers out of their Moon Pies and like tweet a picture of them at Moon Pie. Like that, that's another example of Wendy's just like going above and beyond, <laughs> and it's hilarious. Oh, wow, I, I got scared for a minute because I was like, wow, dude, I, was, I thought Moon Pie was going to get it from, from Wendy's. <laughs> they were going to be like, oh goodness, what did Moon Pie do? Moon Pie knew what they were doing. They were like, we're just going to approach this with the nicest thing we can say. <laughs> oh, <okay. clears throat> that one's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Uh, so have you heard of Aldi? Aldi, the, like the grocery store? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> they're kind of on the saddest train. And uh, this may not be the actual account because I don't, I don't see the verified sign, but we're going to say it anyway. <laughs> so at LA McDonald 5 tweeted, bad exam, I'm going to end up working at Aldi. And <laughs> at Aldi, Cus Carey responded, we don't think so, Thicko. You need a minimum of a degree just to clean the toilets out, love. Try McDonald's. Burn. See, nobody deserves that. <laughs> you know, I don't, there has to be a fine line of cyberbullying here. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Golly. Oh, I saw another tweet by um, Texas Roadhouse. Oh. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. So, it's kind of like what we were talking about one or two videos ago where we were talking about um, just being really relevant and what, mm -hmm. what's going on right now and mm -hmm. like this Spongebob meme has been taking over Twitter nice. so basically Texas Roadhouse took someone else's tweet <clears throat> and it's a picture and if you've seen Spongebob you know exactly what this is but it's a picture from Spongebob and on one, one side you've got what would be the uh, Krabby Patty which is mm -hmm. a A plus establishment right. and then on the other side you've got oh what's the it's Plankton's restaurant. What's Plankton's restaurant? The Chum Bucket. The Chum Bucket. <laughs> Obviously not. It's called the Chum Bucket. It's not an A plus establishment. <laughs> and so, you know, so they're comparing the two, and someone put the Texas Roadhouse um, logo over the Krusty Krab, and then the Outback logo over the Chum Bucket. Mm. So <laughs> Texas Roadhouse just took that tweet and said, we won't comment on this, but we'll just leave it here. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, they didn't even have to create that content. They just kind of took it, shared it, and it's hilarious. Right, and that's actually a big trend going on now on Twitter. It may be a little dying down just a little bit, but I've seen, like, a lot of comparisons where it's, like, in sports, team versus team, or, like, food versus food, or experiences versus experiences. Uh, hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> hilarious. Another one here uh, is actually between Old Spice and Taco Bell. And I think Taco Bell is kind of on that scale of Wendy's, maybe not as savage. But, but I that's think interesting to me that, like, you know, they're not competitors, really. At like, all. they're not, they're just being funny. And right, it's the interaction. That's awesome. hilarious. But Allspice tweeted, Why is that fire sauce, in quotation, isn't made with any real fire? Seems like false advertising. And Taco Bell responded, At Allspice, is your, is your deodorant really made with old spices? <laughs> I hope not. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But... That is really funny. <laughs> and I, I've seen like tweets like this go on to like uh, not necessarily with brands, but even just regular users to where they have like profiles that may have been personified for like uh, significant figures. So like this tweet here, uh, someone has a profile. It's the Grinch, yo. It's the Grinch. It's yo. the Grinch, yo. <laughs> so uh, at ba Baka kisses X. Uh, tweeted Instagram show, why are you green? And why are you green? <laughs> and the green show tweeted back, why are you green or why are you orange? Oh, I don't get it either. It's because it's because of the profile picture, but uh, you can't see that. Oh, uh, <laughs> so it's like her profile picture is like <laughs> she looks super orange because I think she got a spray tan or something. Oh god. <laughs> so it's just. <laughs> So yeah, and some they're of pretty bad. Just not cleaning just, all day. No, no. But um, yeah, no, those are really funny. <laughs> um, you know, what actually has another uh, kind of sassy account. It's Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Helper. As, that's true. I think I've seen them. As innocent as that little hand may look, that those are real Twitter fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Do not let those fingers fool you. When it has Twitter in front of it, it is dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. <laughs> So someone tweeted uh, uh, at C C Bell underscore three. Okay, okay, I'm a little lost here. I don't know exactly what <laughs> what this is. Uh, this guy's making, but um, he I think he was this, trying to make hamburger helper. Right, it looks like he may be beef stroganoff or or Philly steak or something. And it's it, y'all know you guys can see. You it, want me to show you? Hold on, I can show you. This is like not cute. No, no. Yeah, it's, Ooh, it's, that's gross. Yeah, that looks... That's a little tough there. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> but he tweeted um, uh, saying that, you know, he's making this and uh, he has a, a uh, I guess like a Snapchat bar. Like a caption? With, like a caption on there. It says, wife me. Wife me. <laughs> and the Hamburger Helper tweeted back, and this makes you husband material. So savage. But like, you really? Know, you know it's crazy. It's, it makes sound messy. It doesn't look all that good, but 
I bet it tastes pretty awesome because hamburger has Hank. a good Hank. <laughs> Hank loves for hamburgers. Hey, I'm just saying. Let me know. So, Nisha, yeah. we have a special segment that we're going to do today. A special segment? Since, in honor of Wendy's mixtape, we got a new segment for Serial Creators called Serial Bars. Oh, I'm going to play one of their songs so we can get pumped. Ooh. It's called Rest in Grease. Oh, gosh. Well, Rest in Grease. Oh, this is awkward. Is it playing? Oh. So, we have a little test. Let's go to Okay. <laughs> You gonna get that work. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Head with some pigtails, better check the score at these mill cells. Now that's better. I'm so clever. My bar's chilly. Better grab a sweater. You better oh! Too good. 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 So, in honor of the bars that we hear in music and in social media content, we're gonna eat some cereal bars. Sweet. Hi. This is. Chocolate pretzel nut, man, that's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm excited. Yum. Mm. All right, so let's talk about some cereal bars. I mean, let's talk about <laughs> some. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> it was a great, great marketing scheme. Let's yeah. talk about some bars. So nowadays, a lot of brands on social media are taking advantage of having hip hop influencers, mm -hmm. you know, to sell a product or do a lot of brand awareness. And um, this is gonna become a trend, and we're starting to see more of a hip hop approach to uh, social media content that's out there. One uh, unique one is Chance the Rapper and Kit Kat. So, oh, you yeah. guys remember, Chance the Rapper actually did a commercial with Kit Kat, and I think he was, well, he's being endorsed, but I think that was a really good scheme for them because at that time, Chance was really big. He had the number one, I mean, it was the number one album, but he didn't even sell it, it was for free. Like, he was, like, the headliner for almost everything. Like, everything was about Yeah, change. that's true. And uh, Kit Kat took a really good advantage of that time and using him in commercial. I have that commercial, know? yeah. Let's take a look. Chance the Rapper Break. Chance. Chance the Rapper. Give me a break. Just give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. We're both Chance the Rapper. No, I get it. Break me off. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. That's good. But I thought it was great because, I mean, Chance was just Chance. Like, Chance the Rapper. Who is Chance the Rapper? The Rapper. With the Kit Kat. <laughs> Pun. Oh. For days. Oh, that was, that was good. The rapper, <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I've seen a lot of a lot of more brands that that's taking this approach and just like Wendy's and Kit Kat. Have you seen any like content that used like hip hop influencers? There was a Super Bowl commercial for was it for Sprite. Do you see that one? It was, I think it was Mountain. Was it Mountain Dew? I, think uh, it was Mountain Dew. I don't know. I think. You know, with that's Missy actually. Elliott and Buster Ryan. Yeah, I think that was Doritos and no, was Doritos? <laughs> I think oh. It stood out, obviously, but I can't remember who it was. <laughs> it was I think it was Sprite. Let me see. I think but, it was Sprite. I think it was Sprite. I think it was Sprite, and it was like this Super Bowl commercial um, that featured Busta Rhymes and Missy Elliott, and it was so funny. I'm trying to see if I can find all the... All the Super Bowl commercials? But yeah, so like pulling in influencers, I think sometimes, you know, we like as brands, we feel limited to only p calling on influencers who mm -hmm. are on social media or who are in marketing. Right. And that's n not the case anymore because people like Missy Elliott and Buster Rhymes and Chance the Rapper have such big followings on their own social media. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, and, and aside from their social media, they just have a big following. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, it's advantageous to like call on those people and ask them to represent your brand or endorse your brand because they're going to bring in such a huge following of people that's going to be interested in your content just because they're in it. Mm -hmm. um, especially if they're, if, especially if you're funny, you know. Yeah, you got to be funny. Yeah. And I started chewing on my bar like, at the wrong time because I want to respond, but I don't want to be rude with mm -hmm. my mouth. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. No, but I think this one was great because they did this during the Super Bowl. And yeah. So many eyes was on this piece. Isn't that like the most watched TV? In no, a lot of people don't even watch the game. They do it for the commercials. I mean, I'm not saying that I watched it for the commercials, but I watched it for the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
I'm not gonna lie, I did too. <laughs> I'm a Falcons fan, so we fortunately we didn't make it. I like watching, I, like I honestly, genuinely love watching the Super Bowl and Twitter at the same time. So like mm. while the game's on, like I'll just see what's trending on Twitter because it it's really funny to yeah. watch. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. And uh, with the with the Sprite piece, uh, it was really neat because it was Missy Elliott and Buster Rhymes teaching Morgan Freeman uh, and Peter Dinklage how to. Uh, I mean, basically, just how to rap. How to rap. rap. <laughs> and you, you guys have probably seen like the previews where it's like he was uh, best friend was telling um, Peter Dinklage like, "Hey, uh, Peter Piper, Peter, 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 Peter Piper picked a pe- 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 <laughs> Anyway, he was saying that, and uh, he, we seen like this build up, and like it ran on social. You know, I think they ran ads all through Twitter, and it was just hilarious. And they came to this build up to where when they actually aired the full commercial. Is because they was going at a battle to actually rap one of their rhymes, and those who, if you're not familiar with Busta Rhymes, I mean his speed of talking is, is insane. Yeah, I can't, I can't even do it. Like, I think I'll get a mouth cramp <laughs> just trying to do what he does. But it was great though, and that was a great example of how using hip hop influencers to push a brand um, or brand awareness across social media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. Definitely. Well, I think this is about it for today. I, I'm i full. I was like, I just had <laughs> no, my breakfast. This bar, was, this bar is amazing. Are you, are you going to eat the rest you, of yours? You, you can have it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so we thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Serial, Serial Creatives. If you guys have ran across any material across social media, feel free to share it with us. Let us know. Uh, we would love to take a look at it and get some laughters out of it. Laughters. Laughters? Laughters. Get some laughs. Get some laughs. <laughs> some laughs out of it. If you find any clapbacks, anything on Twitter. Leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, we out. Peace. I'm going to play a song by I'm gonna, This one's called Clowning. Let's do it. Oh, shots fired. This one's chill down, It's the Wendy, I'ma say it yet again. Don't be silly, you can never mess with this. To be fit me, you don't wanna take that risk. Uh and after this, bet you think about who you this. It's the Wendy, I'ma say it yet again. Don't be silly, you can never mess with this. To be fit me, you don't wanna take that risk.